So welcome to Pixel Composer tutorial number 13, 12? I don't know, I didn't count. <laughs> I think I didn't even upload all the video that I have. So welcome to the Pixel Composer tutorial. Uh, in this one, like I said, I'm gonna go back to all the, all the previous tutorial in the previous version and I'm gonna see if there's something that has to be changed or something that has to be updated. And I watched it and a lot of things that I said are still true in the newer version. So I'm just gonna go through like a small thing, small little things that change since then. I think I talked about it in the airway video. Is that when you have an image, right? And then you want to add in an outline like this. And you also can have a palette or you know, an array of colors. What it's gonna do here is gonna extend the number of array to the maximum size. So here we have five array, array of five member. And here we have eight member. So here, it's just gonna extend to become egg. And by default here, it's just gonna loop the, the area with smaller size. Now in the airway video, we used to have a button here, right? That you can change the area processing. This button here already moved into the setting tab. So you have to go to setting, and now you can change how the area processing work. You can make it a loop. You can make it a hole, so that it's just gonna hold a smaller array. You can expand, which will expand or create all the permutation of your input. So here we have five image and then eight colors. So it's just gonna generate 40 different combination of image and outline colors. Be careful when you use this, especially be careful when you have more than two array because it's just gonna keep multiplying. And then we have expand inverse, which do the same thing, but it will inverse order. And that is from the array and the batch editing. And there is also update in group as well. Now one thing that is added is that the group input name here will inherit from the junction automatically. And you may notice that some node will have this tool that you can use to edit the values from the preview panels. But the problem is that when you make it a group like this and you exit out of the group and when you select this group, you're not gonna have access to this tool anymore. If you want to be able to access a tool from outside of the group, you can then go inside, select the node that you want to have the tool show up. You will right click and there is this set as group tool. This will have new icon, this blue icon. And and when you go outside and then you select this group, you will see that you can now have an access to the tool inside the group. About the animation, we already go through the concept of keyframe and you know the easing stuff in the previous video. There are change in the 3D object as well, but I'm not gonna go through it yet because there is a big change planning for the 3D system. And sprite integration integration is also the same. Apart from that, I think that we already cover a lot of change in the Composer 1.15 now. So that the next video, we can just focus on new content. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.